Hello everyone. I am Naveen Kumar and I had completed my bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering from Jodhpur Institute of Engineering and Technology in 2018. I am making this video for those who want to go in the field of mechatronics and robotics and for those who want to go for MS and PhD in any foreign university. So first of all let me share you a good news. I got admission into MS in mechatronics and robotics in New York University. So now I am uh, going to start with the first part in which I am going to describe about the career in robotics in India. So I am going to show you my screen and show you two graphs in which uh, I am going to tell you the role of both industrial and non-industrial robots and their venue. So, uh, let me show you my screen. So you can clearly see a graph by Practica. I'm also going to show you the link from where I have taken these graphs. So you can see the graph by Practica that is stating that total industrial and non-industrial robotics revenue that is predicting the total industrial and non-industrial robotics revenue in world markets from 2017 to 2025. We can see that there will be and there is an increase in trend of revenue of uh, robotics. We can see that when it comes to industrial robotics, there is not much growth in world market. But when it comes to non-industrial robotics, for example, mobile robots, AI robots, and other robots, we can see that there will be higher revenue we can observe in future. Now you can see the second the second image by IFR that is International Federation of Robotics that is uh, telling about number of installed industrial robots per 10,000 employees in the manufacturing industry in 2015. Ok so we can see clearly a trend that um, there are 631 robots per 10,000 employees in South Korea and we can see an average of 74 robots in the world per 10,000 employees. This is the first part of the graph. Now I am going to show you the second graph. So in the same graph, in the second graph, you can see that in India, there are only three robots per 10,000 employees. And there are average world, uh, when it comes to average in world, there are 74 robots per 10,000 employees. So we can see clearly that there is and there will be a huge demand of industrial robots in future. So there is a huge scope of robotics in India. So as you can clearly see from the three graphs that I showed you is that there will be a good demand of robotics engineers in future in India. So I am specifically making this video for mechanical engineers or uh, those who are currently pursuing mechanical engineering but other branches can also get benefit from this video. If you are from mechanical engineering branch and if you are currently studying mechanical engineering then I would recommend you have to focus on some subjects that have an important role in robotics. You have to have a good grasp in physics engineering mathematics, engineering mechanics, uh, mechanics of solids, design of machine elements, and theory of machines. These are some subjects that you have to focus on because these subjects have a vital role in robotics. Because robotics is an interdisciplinary branch. It has role of mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, computer science and EP2. So for mechanical engineers I have tell you all the subjects and if you are doing your bachelor's then you have to focus on these subjects. Now I am going to um, also tell you that some software on which you have focus. You have you also have to focus on modeling software like SOLIDWORKS and OEO. If you can learn some part of ANSYS, I mean ANSYS workbench, then it will be icing on the cake. So you have good knowledge of 
design and then in robotics programming also plays an important role and i believe as a mechanical engineer you should know programming so there are four languages which are quite popular in robotics that is c c++ python and matlab so i recommend you should focus on these four languages too and you should have a solid grasp in these four languages now i am going to tell you some resources where you can learn robotics and some basic concept of robotics now i'm going to show you my computer screen and you can go to those resources and if you find these resources are useful for you then you can join those courses and it totally depends on you so if you are a beginner in robotics then i would recommend a course CS223A Introduction to Robotics by Professor Osama Khatib and this course is really good for big and uh, if you are looking for a book for this course and and general book on robotics then i would recommend Introduction to Robotics by Professor John J Craig and if you are looking for other material then you can also use Robot Modeling and Control by M Spock with your cousin Hutchinson these both books are really good and um, these both books plays a good role in the field of robotics if you are looking for something in area robotics and a certification course in robotics then i would recommend robotics specialization by university of pennsylvania on coursera so you can enroll in the in these six courses freely and you can also if you want a certificate so you can pay for the course or you can also use financial aid option but unfortunately this option is available for the students not for working professionals so i would recommend if you are a student you can take the advantage of financial aid and the courses are the first course is aerial robotics then computation motion planning these are some good courses in robotics so you can go there and uh, the level of this specialization is for a uh, beginner so you can complete this course in approximately 6 months if you already have some good knowledge in robotics and if you are looking something from in robotics from the perspective of mechanical engineering then this is a good course and this is a specialization that is modern robotics mechanics planning and control specialization by northwestern so you can see the level of uh, the specialization is intermediate it means you must have some some experience in robotics and it will be completed in 6 months and the courses here are modern robotics foundation of robot motion robot kinematic dynamic motion planning and control and these are some good courses that you can enroll okay so i have told you some courses that you can do if you are really interested in robotics but when it comes to robotics it's not only limited to the mechanical engineering it has all the software has also an important part in robotics so when it comes to software most of the countries and most of the companies in different countries like united states germany uk india are using ros that is robot operating system in their robot so what is ros ros is not like the actual operating system like microsoft windows ubuntu linux mint or any other but actually it is a bunch of different software which are really helpful in robotics So why not? Because the main fact is that so that you can focus on the real application rather than developing everything from scratch. You can start using ROS to do some basic tasks. And um, I have also performed navigation, mapping and navigation using ROS in a particular room. So now I am going to show you the website of ROS and some resources from where you can learn. ROS that is robot operating system but before that i also recommend you to strong your basic in the um, mechanical engineering aspect of robotics that it will be easy for you to deal with ROS so you can see this is the website of ROS that ros.org robot operating system there are right now two popular ROS version that is ROS Kinetic Army and ROS Melodic Morenia. So when it comes to ROS, it ROS provides complete support for those who have 
Ubuntu operating system. So if you have Ubuntu operating system, you can use it um, easily or you have all the support of software that you are looking for. ROS is an open source community so you get all the support from an open source community. Now you can see some applications of ROS and now let's go to the website of ROS Melodic Morania. So when it comes to Ubuntu, it is completely supported with Ubuntu. So I would recommend use ROS on Ubuntu. Now when it comes to ROS, I would recommend to use ROS on Ubuntu. But um, for to using Ubuntu, uh, there are a lot of students who are using uh, Windows PC and they don't have Ubuntu. So what I would recommend, if you are a beginner in ROS, you should use a virtual machine. A virtual machine is a software by using which you can run an operating system over any other operating system. It means you can run Ubuntu on Windows operating system. So I am going to share you the link from where you can uh, learn how to use virtual machine to use Ubuntu and how to how can you install ROS. So you can go to the Ubuntu site here and uh, if you want you can install ROS by following these steps on Ubuntu terminal. If you want to learn ROS, then you can find some tutorials on the ROS website here. And then you can find the documentation of um, all the things and you can go to the tutorials page. If you have installed uh, ROS already on your Ubuntu PC or your Ubuntu virtual machine, then you can, then you can start from these tutorials, installing content in your ROS environment and all these things. And you can start learning ROS. If you are looking for a course on ROS, then I would recommend two courses on ROS. First is by EDS Zurich, that uh, the program for robotics draw. It is one of the best courses available on the internet. So you can find lecture slides and video recording from YouTube. And another one from TU Delft, and it is available on edX website, that is Hello Real World Operating System. You can access both of the courses freely. However, if you want certificate in this course by edX, you have to purchase the course but um, I think you can uh, join the course freely and learn raw. If you are looking for a certification course on raw and in cheap price then you can go to on the Demi website and raw essential course raw for beginner basic motion now open series by professor Anish Cuba. This will cost only 4,555 rupees and this course contains 10.5 hours of lecture so you can do this paid course if you are looking for a certificate in cheap price and uh, I'm this is the basics now I'm going to recommend if you want to do navigation in ROS then I, I'm going to recommend the course for that so if you are looking for a course in navigation that is localization navigation in SLAM SLAM means simultaneous localization and mapping then this course is also a good one so you can also join this course if you are looking for a certification now apart from these robotic materials and rods, you should have some knowledge of microcontrollers and microprocessors. So I would recommend you should get some basic knowledge of Arduino and Raspberry Pi. These are cheaply available in the market. Arduino is a microcontroller and uh, Raspberry Pi is a small PC and we can say it's a microprocessor. So you can use both of these things to control different actuators and get data from different sensors and perform some uh, perform tasks that you are you are really want to perform and do some robotic tasks you can also create a robot using arduino and raspberry pi now this is the second part of the video in which i am going to talk about if you want to go for ms and phd in any foreign country suppose that I would recommend you should focus on different aspects of your profile. Your GPA matters. Yes, uh, there are a lot of students say that your GPA doesn't matter, but in reality, your GPA does matter. And I got rejection from different German universities because of my percentage. So I would recommend please focus on your percentage if you have if you have been to do masters in PhD from a foreign university. Apart from that, you have to take an English test whether it's DOPL or IELTS. It totally depends on the university that what tests are they asking. 
So I have prepared for IELTS here and uh, if you are preparing for IELTS or if you want to prepare for IELTS, I would recommend you can go to a YouTube channel uh, for IELTS is IELTS List. She has a splendid material when it comes to IELTS. And when it comes to GRE, I used material from Mabush and I used books from Manhattan. Uh, Manhattan is a company uh, from, from where I used two books, one for quant and second for verbal. And uh, you have to take uh, either IELTS or TOEFL if you are looking for some universities that only require these exams. But some universities do require GRE and most of the universities in the United States require GRE. So if you are going for foreign education, I do recommend first of all prepare for GRE, then IELTS or TOEFL. Because GRE is relatively harder than IELTS and TOEFL. And uh, yes, apart from that, you must have some, uh, you should focus on um, some extracurricular activities that I mean, do good research internships, do some good internships and uh, try to get some work experience before going for masters and PhD and uh, you should try to do something in the field of research and if you have research papers then it, it, it becomes quite easy for you to get admitted in a good university. So whatever I want to say that uh, say I said and if you have any further doubts I'm also going to uh, write the link in URL in the description. So if you have any doubts, you can message me on LinkedIn and talk to me.